Hello, my name is Brandon Enright, and this is a video on how to solve Eric Virgo's pentagram, which is Jellus and Brains 1.2.3. This is a vertex turning to a decahedron, so it has a cosahedral symmetry. This puzzle is very closely related to Jellus and Brains 1.2.2. The only difference is, is that the cut is slightly deeper, which causes the centers to form and eliminates the edges and uh, creates a, a new type of triangle piece in the center of the puzzle that's relatively difficult to solve. This video builds off of the ideas in 1.2.2, so if you haven't seen my 1.2.2 video and it, at any point you feel um, like this video is going too quickly, then uh, go back and watch my 1.2.2 video first. Also, um, in my 1.2.2 video, I sort of incorrectly stated that uh, the shortest algorithm to solve these wide triangles, which uh, on 1.2.2 is the sort of the inner triangles that are also touching the corner, was a 5-1 algorithm. So I think I probably, yeah, hmm, hold on. So, okay, so there we go. Okay, and so then to solve that piece right there, I first move the corner out of the way, and then I put that, and then I move the corner back, and then I undo the the three portion of the sequence and then I move the corner out of the way again. Yeah, okay, and so that creates a three cycle in the in the wide triangle there, wide triangle and wide triangle. There's actually a, a I found it shortly after I made the 1.2.2 video and I'd already known about this sequence, I had just completely forgotten about it. Um, but there's a a shorter version. So if you do that, that, th that three conjugate, then this wide triangle is isolated in that piece, and then you undo, and that will create a three cycle in the wide triangle, so it's uh, only three one instead of eight one. And so in 1.2.2 I advocated solving the wide triangles first, or the, the triangles in the center first via one one commutators, and then solving the corners via three one commutators. Um, something like, uh, excuse me, um, something like this. And the reason I suggested that is because there's only 20 corners and there are 60 of these wide triangles, so it's better to solve the wide triangles efficiently rather than the corners efficiently. Um, and I still advocate that solve order even though I did find a, a shorter routine for the wide triangles. Um, even though you can solve the wide triangles in eight moves, um, I still think that you should solve them in only four moves and save the longer routine for the corners. Plus, because you can solve them intuitively in the beginning, um, you're not really you know, doing a three cycle for the vast majority of them. You, you, you basically pre-place most of them and then towards the end you, uh, you do three cycles. So, this puzzle has centers. The centers on this puzzle are just like totally a piece of cake to isolate. Basically anything you try will isolate a center. So that's the center isolated. Now I'll we'll undo X. And we'll undo Y. There we go. So that's a three cycle of, of the centers there. Um, I mean, you can literally like try anything and it'll just work. Um, there we go. There's a center isolated. Um, oh, well, I actually completely broke a bunch of stuff. So I clearly didn't do that right. So there we go. Let's, let's try this again. Yeah, see, okay, so um, like uh, just almost anything you try in this puzzle that, that ends up moving centers will will somehow isolate centers somewhere. Um, well, maybe not in that case because the corner is not isolated. Um, there we go. Nope, see, okay, so I, I lied. The, the, you can't try just anything. You, you do have to, you know sort of do something like that, but anyways, th they're, they're a piece of cake to isolate. I don't think that they're a big problem. Um, so you should be able to three, one cycle these, these centers, no problem. So really the only, only difficult thing in this puzzle, and then I think this trips up everyone that, that first starts on this puzzle without much experience, is how to solve these triangle pieces. They're actually relatively challenging to solve, or at least to find a, a commutator for it, because um, no matter how hard you look, you're not going to find a 3-1 commutator that isolates one of them. 
Um, and if you so if you do something like do something like this. Actually, let me change my view so it's easier to to see. So we'll work off of this uh, white and light blue. If you do something like this, that as we saw it already, I, it isolates the center. So you know we could do that. But that would obviously do two, three cycles. You know because we're moving two of these small triangles, it would do two, three cycles. I'm going to do three th cycles in the centers. And if we're going to solve these last, we, we basically need to be able to isolate it cleanly. Um, and that's hard because like, there's really no way to get a, a sort of a clean swipe off of it. At least, no matter how hard you try on a 3-1, you're not going to be able to do it. Um, so you have to start working about like, on setup moves for your 3-1. So if we, if we do that setup move, then we, we can basically take a slice off there, except for that little stupid pesky one right there. Um, and that one came from over here. So if we do something like, uh, and then we want to do a setup move to get that guy, there's that guy's problem. So, and if we complete the 3-1 the and we turn it into a 4-1, there's still, I, I believe, a, a pesky center. No? Well, okay, so let's give it a try. So what we want to do is we want to do and then have access to that triangle right there. So that means we need to move all those things out of the way first. And so if we want to be able to do that, then we have to do the opposite as the setup move. So we'll do the opposite. And then we'll do our undo our setup move. Now we should have a, a swipe at that, but you see these, these things are going to become a problem. Um, and then we have to redo our setup move, and then we have to undo our X part, and then here's the setup move for the X part. And then, and so great, we, so we created a three cycle, but it also affected the centers. And so that's not going to help us much. And so let's see if we can figure out how to do it with more than one setup move. Okay. So we want to take a swipe out of that, which means we want to save that, which means first we need to get that guy out of the way first. And so if we do that to get him out of the way, and then do that to get those out of the way, then we should be able to make a swipe out at this, right? I think so. So let's try it. And then we undo our conjugate, which was our x, and then we bring that back. There we go, we created a three cycle. Now, what was that three cycle? It was two setup moves, then a three move conjugate, and then undo two setup moves. So two and two and three, and then, well, so two and then three and then two. So that's a seven move, seven, and then a, the Y part was one. Seven one sequence, that's 16 moves. That's not terribly efficient. Um, and as as I was showing, well actually, so it wasn't actually 7-1. Um, I think the way we did it was 3-5, right? Um, yeah, so, we're, so we did our 3. Well, uh, so let, let's, let's, let's look at it in both ways. So we can do our 3. And then we can do that setup move, that setup move. This, these are setup moves for the Y part. We already did our X part. We're going to do that and that for the Y part. So that's two moves. And then we're going to do our Y part. And then we're going to do that and that. And then that's another two moves. So we've just done five moves. Now we need to undo our X part. And then we need to do that and that. We have to redo our setup moves and then undo. And then, oh, well, I've, I've clearly completely made a mess of this puzzle. So let's, let's, uh, let's try that over. So there's our three. Now we need to do this and then that. And then swipe that piece and then do that, that. Now we need to undo our X part. Um, okay, that's the problem. I wasn't undoing that properly. Okay, and then we need to do that, that. Now we need to bring our, it, bring it back and then do that, that. Okay. So we did three moves and then five moves and then three moves and then five moves for a total of 16 moves. Um, we should be able to bring uh, we should be able to bring the setup moves on the Y part into the X part. So let's give that a try. I'm bound to mess this up, but we'll try anyways. Um, so we need to do uh, that, 
that, right? No. So I think we need to do that and that. And then we do, yes, okay. That, that. And then I think if we do this, this, uh, that. And then we do, there we go. So that isolated nicely for us. And let's see if I can reproduce this. Now we've got to undo our x. Well, and then now we have to undo the setup moves for x. Um, and then now we undo y. And there we go, we did a three cycle. So that was, instead of it being three, five, it was seven, one. But as you can see, it's the exact same three cycle. We just moved the setups from the y part to the x part. And so that's one way to solve these. That's not the way I actually recommend. I think it's the way that um, most people are likely to find, but there's an ever so slightly easier way. And so I think the mistake we did was we chose two adjacent vertices for the, the three portion. If we use two vertices that are crossed from each other, so this vertice and this vertice, instead of, instead of this vertice and this vertice. So if we build our three out of these two, we have the same problem in that we need to swipe that and stuff is in the way. But now it only takes one setup move instead of two. So now if we do that, 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 then, and then redo setup move, undo Y, undo setup move. Okay, so now we just did a three, three sequence. So three moves and then three moves and three moves, three moves. So three for X, three for Y, and then three for X inverse, three for Y inverse. For 12 moves total, um, we will have created a pure three cycle that is better. Um, if you prefer to not view it as a three, three and you want to do it as a five, one, it's not so bad. So how do we do that? We do this, this, this. And then what we needed to do is we need to do that move, right? So we need to do that move and then that move. So we'll set up with that move. And then we're setting up the X part. And then we're undoing our X part setup. Now this piece is nice and isolated for us. So now we can do our Y part. Now we need to undo our X, which means doing the setup, undoing it, undoing the setup, and then undoing Y. So you can view this as a 3-3 or a 5-1. And no matter how hard you try, you're not going to find a shorter commutator sequence um, to cycle these pieces pure. So the best you can do is 12 moves, 5-1. Um, so let me show that to you again. Um, and luckily, there are the, the setup moves on this puzzle aren't so terrible. So like solving these pieces with um, this particular cycle is not so bad. But luckily, there are um, variations available. So let me show you how I know that there are variations available. So we just did our, our X part. Oh, well, except that I set up I set this up the wrong direction, so now I can't swipe I can't swipe that because this stuff is in the way. Um, so you set it up that way. And then you do and then you undo the setup. So now we've just done our X part. You can put that piece in there. Or you can put that piece in there. So you have two options without changing anything else, just changing the white part, the direction you turn the piece. So at first I did the red, now let's do the blue. Now you get to do that. You have to redo your X setup, undo X, undo your X setup, and then that's a, a different pattern uh, on the cycle. Um, and so you can use it really easily two variations. Um, of these pieces and it should help you reduce setup moves or if you're solving this puzzle physically which like I said it is Eric Virgo's pentagram um, you can buy this puzzle if you're solving it physically you're sort of going to want to have more um, more routines under your belt because when you're solving a puzzle physically there is really no undo button and there's no reset button so if you screw up on a on a sequence or well, basically if you do a bunch of complicated setup moves and then you do your sequence successfully but you can't do undo your setup moves because you can't remember them then you more or less have to start over. Um, and so by putting a couple more um, variations of your commentator under your belt, then you can reduce the number of setup moves that you have to remember because you have more options that don't require, you know, so you just find the right sequence um, that only requires, you know, one or two setup moves instead of just having one sequence that requires three or four or five setup moves. So in general, I, I think that's a, a good way to solve this puzzle. Um, so let me recap. You should solve these wide triangles sort of through intuition at first, and then towards the end use 1-1 one, one commutators. 
and so that's Y triangle, Y triangle, Y triangle. Then you should do, well, I can never get it right the first time. Three, one, corner cycles. Um, you can orient the corners with a, like a one five or five one or however you want to look at it. So let's take that corner and put it there. Now we're going to take this corner out and then put it back in a different orientation. So let's uh, do this, that. So then we spin it and then we put it back, put it back, and then and then now we have to undo. I'm doing this visually, so I might screw it up. Nope, oh, got it. Okay. Okay, and so that was also 12 moves. That's a 5 1 sequence to, s to spin two corners. Um, and then you want to solve the centers, and really almost anything you try is going to work. So there's one way to do it. Um, there's another way. Um, you can just do something like that, and then it's a different setup. Or it, it's, it, it's slightly different, but it looks th th roughly the same. And does a slightly different cycle, and I think there are more cycles available to you um, if you give them a try. And then you're going to want to solve uh, these pieces, 3-3 three, three or 5-1, or, or and since the 3-3 three, three is easy for me to visualize, um, here it is. So that's the 3. Now we're going to do setup move Y, undo setup move, and then undo our X, and then undo our Y, and there we go. So that's a 12 move 3-3 three, three sequence, or if you want 5 plus 5-1 um, to cycle these small triangles here. So I think that should be enough for you to solve this puzzle. It's a very fun puzzle. I really recommend you do it. If you don't want to solve it on a computer, go ahead and buy Eric Virgo's pentagram. I think the, the price point is probably pretty good for a printed puzzle. Um, and have fun. Enjoy.